This is a specimen, uh, actually it's a histopathology specimen uh, of an infectious disease known as poliomyelitis. That it, uh, f fortunately is not very um, prevalent today, but it was in the 40s and 50s. And in some cases it has come back in some parts of the country. But we're using this specimen to study and see examples of skeletal muscle. So the annotation is showing you fascicles of skeletal muscle and then the uh, epimysium, which is surrounding a whole group of fascicles. It's the connective tissue wrapping of muscle. That's why it's labeled uh, uh, E. Uh, so if I enlarge this, there are certain areas that you can see the cross striations very nicely. And these are r relatively thin longitudinal sections of skeletal muscle fibers. Um, and of course you cannot see, in this case, you would have to do uh, some pretty artificial uh, magnification. But in this case, the dark banding would be the A band and the lighter banding would be the I band. And as you are studying this, you are learning that the I band is composed of a combination of thin and thick filaments, actin and myosin, and the I, that is the A band. The I band is composed of, uh, of just uh, actin filaments or thin filaments. So we can't see any more detail there. There are, there are better specimens uh, in uh, WebMic for studying the details as well as in the lecture. Uh, and in this specimen, uh, I think over here are some uh, cross sections. Uh, not terribly uh, good, but uh, you can see the multiple nuclei around the cell uh, limits of the skeletal muscle. So out of this, you see the cross striations, and you're seeing the epimysium, which is the connective tissue wrapping surrounding the uh, fascicles. And each fascicle is surrounded by uh, perimysium, uh, which would be this uh, thin connective tissue here. And of course, each muscle fiber or each muscle cell, which is long, is surrounded by a delicate connective tissue known as the endomysium. OK, I think that's uh, all I need to point out here.